part one, part one, part one. Philip and I on the road to Horatio. Um, we are actually on headed to Hatfield now, and then we're headed to Horatio. But the the the, the smooth drive. <laughs> Yeah. Now, coaching has changed a lot over the years. I mean, the, 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 the world of coaching today mm -hmm. in, in high school is just is not what it was 30 years ago. And it's not like it is in college either. Well, yeah, that's Cause, true. Because look at your college coaches. Look at what happened to Chad Morris and Willie Taggart right. in Arkansas and Florida State. They both got shoved right. out the door after only two years. Right. Not enough time to build a program. Right. I still think Morris got the short end of the stick, but Morris didn't do himself any favor, no, favors either. No, no, no. He did not. But no, there's, I mean, a lot of programs, you're really high profile programs. I mean, you know, you're Alabama's not say that Nick Saban's not practically enshrined there, but he's pretty close to it. Pretty close to it. And some of your other programs, I mean, there's, there's programs where your, your alumni, your, your supporters, if you are not in contention for a national title every year, you're going to get fired. USC. Yeah, USC. Enough Excellent. said. Excellent. Clay Helton. Excellent example. Got ran out of town on the rail. First chance he had. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's – and that's just – I mean, the the money is unbelievably good in those – Oh, yeah. But, I mean, you're going to be – you're going to be in the pressure cooker every, every year. You're in the fishbowl the minute you yes. walk on campus. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Notre Dame. Notre Dame's yeah, another good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, another, another good one. I mean, yeah, Lou Holtz. Uh, uh, Won a national was, championship. Yeah, it was a hero and Nashville ran out of steam. Area. Well, and well, I mean, he was under pressure not to be uh, Newt Rockney's win record. Yeah, because that, that he was New Rockney was enshrined. They didn't want Lou Holtz eclipsing that that record. I mean, which is crazy to me. Brian Kelly ended up doing it, and then he ran off to LSU. Yeah, which that and that I still don't get why he took that. I guess no, no, I was that was a step down. I mean. I, my opinion. I mean, my thing nothing is nothing against you LSU fans. I'm just saying. I think he knew he was never going to win the national championship in Notre Dame. Right. You line up your talent against Alabama or a Clemson, you're going to get skull drug. You're going to get run out of the town. On you're going to get your brains beat in right. for four straight quarters. Right. And I think Kelly realized this is my last chance. I'm never going to. I'm never going to have another shot at this. Let's take. Let's go to LSU. Let's take any. Les Miles won a national title there. Ed Orgeron won a national title there. Nick Saban won a national title there. Right. Jerry Leonardo won the the SEC West twice, I think. There at LSU. Yeah, I mean LSU's got a good history. They got they got a lot of support. They have a, they they draw good. You got the good talent base in Louisiana. You keep most of those kids home. You right. get a handful of kids in Texas. Pluck a couple kids from like Florida or Alabama or Georgia or Mississippi or something like that. Build a good recruiting base there. You can win big easily at LSU. I mean, and well. I mean, was, just look at Alabama, though. I mean, if and when you when you when you build that level of a high profile program, I mean, you you can pick blue chip recruits because they want to come to Alabama. Yeah, because you're Alabama. Exactly. I mean, at, I mean, now at some point you can erode that. You know, if other teams start picking off, you know, enough recruits and this, that, and the other. I mean, Alabama's not going to be number one forever. Law of averages says yeah, so. Yeah, law of averages says you know eventually somebody's going to cycle up and. And, and eclipse you for a while. Honestly, I think it's going to be Georgia. You think so? I think I, Kirby Smart's close enough to do it. I, I could see that. I wouldn't disagree with you. That's that's entirely possible. I, mean, somebody I think Kirby could do it at Georgia. I think um, Jimbo Fisher at A&M can do it. Right. And if Brian Kelly can get LSU organized and rolling, I think he'll do it. Right. I think those are the three. I honestly think Kirby and Jimbo scare Saban the most. Right. I was just reading about Kelly here the other day, and that he might well be the guy that can put together a good a good shot for LSU. True. 